We humans live on a small planet. This planet is part of the solar system. The solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which has billions of stars. The Milky Way is in a universe that has billions of galaxies. But what is that universe in? What is outside our universe? Light is the only thing in our universe that can travel at a maximum speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. That speed limit makes it impossible to see what's in our universe beyond a certain distance. So what lies outside the universe cannot be seen using any advanced telescope. But there is no limit to the imagination of the human brain. Scientists and their mathematical equations have given us some theories of what is out there. What are they? Let's see. Infinite space with Hubble volume. Since we can only see things when the light they emit or reflect reaches us, we can never see further than the farthest distance light can travel in the time the universe has existed. That means our observable universe keeps getting bigger, but it is finite. This finite amount is referred to as the Hubble volume. We will never be able to see beyond the Hubble volume. With the prediction of the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe, the size of our observable universe is 93 billion light years. Some astronomers think space might be infinite with energy, galaxies, and stars. That stuff is distributed as it is in the observable universe. But the strange thing is, if space is infinite, then it must start repeating at some point because there is only a finite number of ways that any set of particles can be arranged. As far as astronomers can tell, the distribution of matter, energy, and galaxies in the universe beyond our own could be nearly identical to that of the observable universe. We will find more planets outside the Hubble volume, including Earth-like worlds. In fact, if you travel far enough into the cosmos, you'll find another Hubble volume that really is identical to ours. And somewhere in those other Hubble volumes is another version of you that reflects every potential action you might take. So are there any infinite number of galaxies in every direction? If it is not indefinitely big, it would still be bigger than we can imagine. So what is the end? And what lies beyond that? We can't say the observable universe is the end of everything. Maybe there is more universe out there. Infinite bubbles. Some scientists believe that there are an infinite number of universes, each one existing on its own with different laws of physics and properties. This is a popular topic that has been discussed by physicists such as Stephen Hawking, Max Tegmark, Alan Guth, Alexander, and Andre Linda. One example of a particular type of multiverse theory is external inflation. According to this external inflation theory, our universe is just one of the other universes. 13.8 billion years ago, inflation happened in a particular place, and then our universe formed. It is true that inflation took place and our universe formed, but that inflation didn't stop everywhere in space. This means inflation, or the Big Bang, happened everywhere in space, and inflation still continues somewhere in space. It creates countless universes in the expanding space. Each bubble eventually ceased expanding at the same rate as the rest of space and eventually developed its own universe that had its own set of physical constants. Since one infinity can include an endless number of infinities, both space and individual bubbles are infinite in this situation. If you manage to burst through the wall of one bubble, the distance to the next one would continue to grow no matter how fast you ran. Black Hole Theory we already know that black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses upon itself due to extreme gravity. For example, according to the Schwarzschild equation, our sun would become a black hole if its mass was contained within a sphere about 2.5 kilometers in diameter. And to make a black hole out of the Earth, you need to pack the entire Earth thing or mass into a volume about the size of a blueberry. Now we move into something really big, the observable universe. This is a sphere around us. Beyond that, we have no idea how big the entire universe is. So the observable universe right now is 93 billion light years in diameter. We can estimate the amount of stuff that's in the observable universe. If we add all the mass of the observable universe, like protons, neutrons, electrons, fundamental particles, and everything, we get an enormous number. The total estimated mass is 2 into 10 to the power of 53 kilograms. Then the Schwarzschild radius of a black hole 
with the mass of all the matter is almost exactly equal to the size of the visible universe. This coincidence raises the question of whether our universe might somehow be the interior of a black hole. Now we take it to another level. Black holes bend space-time to such extremes that nothing can escape. Their gravitational pull past what's defined as the event horizon, not even light. What lies behind the event horizon remains a mystery, much like the border of our own universe. The event horizon that borders the inside and outside of the black hole is not stable. Black hole eats matter, increasing space-time and pushing the event horizon border further away. In the same way, our universe expands from the inside of a black hole. We can never see what is beyond the event horizon. Similarly, we can't see further away from the observable universe. So is the end of our observable universe an event horizon of a black hole? Are we caught inside a black hole? Our universe might have come from a fraction of a much bigger universe, which got sucked into a black hole and compressed until it reached an unmeasurable dense state which is called singularity. This singularity exploded violently, forming our current universe as we know it. This core might be the source of our Big Bang. This could also mean that every black hole in our universe may contact another universe and outside of our universe might lie a much bigger universe. This means we might be living in a universe within a black hole, which is within another universe in a black hole. There might be a universe on the other side of the Milky Way galaxy's black hole. For them, we are the mother universe. But they are not able to find this. Nothing. This theory suggests that the great space beyond our universe might simply be an empty void of nothingness. What is nothing? According to our universe, nothing is the absence of matter, but contains space-time. But vast empty space is not a real nothingness. Time and space came into being only after the Big Bang, and in that case, the nothing that existed before it is the same as the one that is now outside our universe. So the real nothing is the absence of everything. A deeper kind of nothing consists of no space, no time, no particles, no fields, no laws of nature, no dimension, and the absence of everything at all. However, quantum physics suggests that nothing is everything. Positive and negative together make nothing. If nothing existed, how did the particle that caused the Big Bang emerge? The subject of whether the universe came from nothing or whether there is nothing beyond our universe is a really weird topic for us. Now we can escape from this with the answer of its beyond human imagination. Simulation This is a highly hypothetical theory, but it can be acceptable. Nowadays we can experience realistic 3D models via computer programs. That object doesn't really exist, but we can still see it. For example, we are developing many simulation games. In it, we only control our hero or main object. Other objects and people in the game automatically walk, attack, and do other things. No human being operates it. Rather, it is designed to work automatically. Similarly, after several thousand years, we will have made tremendous progress in technology. Simulation objects and people playing on the computer screen can be played outside. We can even create a tiny world that can operate automatically. It will not be a real object, but a simulation program that we will code. Similarly, why shouldn't someone who is a billion times better in technology than us create a universe for entertainment and keep it running automatically? And the speed of light limit may be set as a boundary so that we don't find out who created our universe. That means we may never discover what lies beyond our universe. This theory may sound unbelievable, but why couldn't they have created a universe when we can create automated computer simulation programs in just a few years of scientific development? What if our universe is someone's brain or something's atom? Imagine if you travel to the edge of the universe and you met yourself coming towards you from all directions toward a single point. Similarly, we have thousands of theories about what is beyond our own universe. But for now, everything is unprovable. <laughs>